Rashtra State Governor Ben Ayade says President Muhammad Buhari will soon inaugurate an empowerment program called G Money, meant to boost agricultural activities in the state. The governor revealed this while briefing state house correspondents after a closed door meeting with the president at the presidential villa in Abuja. Ayade says the G Money is designed to create job opportunities for young people in the agricultural sector of the economy. We have agreed without specificity of date, but agreement in terms of uh, period. He will be visiting Cross River State to commission yet again a new program called G Money. G Money is a, an empowerment of young people through agriculture, job creation through agriculture, establishing massive equipment. We as a state have procured equipment from John Deere of United States which is the biggest company in the world for deforestation, land clearing, land preparation for agriculture. So with the partnership we have with Tata as the local partner, we have made order and have taken delivery of a large number of tractors, bulldozers, payloaders, excavators. The list is endless. So we are going to create jobs for over 2,000 young people who will have at least five hectares of farmland for rice. Mr. President will flag off the G Money program, which is a green economy focusing on agriculture as a way forward. On the sidelines of his meeting with the President, Governor Ayade also absorbed himself from the travails of the trained journalist Agba Jalingo, who has been held by security agencies for alleged treason since August last year. Ayade said Jalingo's arrest and trial is in connection with Omoyelisho Res Revolution Now protest adding that he had been at the forefront of the call for the journalist's release. On his own Facebook page, he sent pictures where he was being tear-gassed in the revolution march in Lagos. Your own pictures posted by yourself. And when Soare was arrested, the same man went back on his Facebook to post that the revolution had just begun. We will continue this battle until revolution works. In court, he admitted he is in court, federal government versus Akba Jalingo, not cross river state. The same Akba Jalingo who is in jail, I sent him money. I called my chief press secretary and the rest. I said, Look, the journalists will never understand that Akba Jalingo is the chairman, is the state chairman of Suarez's party. All I simply did was to stay out of the issue. He is in court for treason. A state does not have power to try somebody for treason. It's not me. Agba Jalingo is not a journalist. Agba Jalingo is the chairman of a political party.